Welcome back guys. So in a lot of my videos, some of you may have noticed, I use a portable monitor to test things on. I actually use them quite often in my everyday life as well. They just come in handy. And I've had my favorites over the past couple years, but one issue I typically have with these kind of devices is the fold over case that's used to protect the screen and be used as a stand. Usually isn't very stable kind of annoying some of them get it done a little better than others and then my other issue has been the ports on a lot of these different devices just hanging out the side of the actual monitor it looks ridiculous and it kind of gets in the way sometimes so i have taken a look at a lot of different ones in the past i've done plenty of videos one company that i looked at and i really liked their device was the mage dock i did have a few issues with that one previously but overall i thought it was an okay monitor now they recently hit me up and they sent me this brand new 4K portable gaming monitor that's 14 inches and they state that it's got 100% Adobe RGB 10-bit color gamut, resolution of 3840 by 2160. I'll put up all the specs on the screen, but there's a little confusion here as far as the link they sent me uh, where it's available on Amazon versus what I received and looking at the reviews I've seen some people mentioned some things as well because it's not listed as mage dock on amazon but that's the brand you receive and also they state that it has mini hdmi but it actually has full size hdmi that i actually appreciate i hate mini hdmi and the way this thing is situated it works out great so i've tested this quite a bit and i actually really dig it for a couple reasons the screen quality is great. It does come with all the cables you would need, USB-C for power, uh, you know, for displaying on a, off of a phone or other compatible devices. Comes with a full-size HDMI cable. Comes with pretty much everything you need other than actual power. It does come with a power brick, but I like using a portable battery. So that's what I typically plug into these things and it just makes it more of a portable experience as I'll kind of show in a moment with a few things that I've tested on this. But this thing is really nice with the way they have it situated. It comes with a case that's okay. I mean, if you drop it, you could still damage it, but it's better than nothing to protect the actual screen on this thing. But the thing that I dig the most is the stand that is built in and how it has the ports like on the inside, like middle of the back of the monitor instead of the side of the monitor. It's a very thin panel. It's very nice and that stand is extremely sturdy. All the ports are easily accessible, all the buttons to change volume and whatnot. But this thing can't be like perfect, can it? it? It is, in fact, my favorite that I've recently been using simply because of that stand and the ports being that nice and easily accessible and the stand just being extremely sturdy. This thing's not going anywhere. It's not flopping over, nothing like that. But testing it out on various devices, I've tried it on the Xbox Series X, and it does look fantastic, but the one thing that I've seen mentioned is that it has HDR. And I don't know if that's necessarily true. There is an option in the menu settings for HDR. And once you turn it on, it seems like it's just like a gamma boost maybe because going through on the Xbox Series X, when you look at what your monitor can actually support that the Xbox Series X can do like HDR and all the different you know, options within them. I'm going to go over all that stuff. Almost everything is grayed out for me. I know this isn't a 120 hertz screen. I didn't expect that and I don't really care. Um, but all the other stuff, the HDR stuff is grayed out. So is this some kind of fake HDR? Because I have had an issue with the Xbox Series X plugging it into, you know, TVs that have HDR and having to make sure I select HDMI instead of automatic. HDMI 2.0, which it does come with an HDMI 2.0 cable, and I'm actually using one. And no matter what I've done, when I go into the menu system, set HDR to on, change, you know, from automatic to actual HDMI, it doesn't recognize that within the Series X. So I've had that happen on TVs, and then I just wind up changing an option, and boom, it shows that we got HDR and all the other options. So that's something worth pointing out. I don't know if this is some kind of fake HDR, but for me, I wouldn't be using this for next-gen gaming anyway. I mean, I guess you could, and it does look decent, you know, on this monitor. It's a very bright monitor. When you 
when you're taking a look at it, everything's crystal clear and crisp. It's very crispy. But yeah, I don't know if that's like misleading or what, because I, I, I was under the impression that this had HDR. Maybe I'm wrong. It says it has HDR. I don't freaking know, right? But the cool thing with this, despite that one thing, is plugging like a fire stick into it and using, you know, a, a 8 bit though controller and playing games through RetroArch, which I've done a video on setting up a fire stick with that in the, you know, very recently. And just having everything plugged into a portable battery, the fire stick, the monitor, boom. As long as you're, you're good to go and you got that power, you could be playing this anywhere. In your kitchen, in your bathroom, at Starbucks, if they ever reopen what you're sitting there. You know what I'm saying, right? Portable gaming. Portable gaming goodness. Use this for mini consoles, whatever the heck you want. Um, playing Luna on it actually was really cool, too. I mean, you have to have an internet connection for that, obviously. But it works great. Everything looks slick. I'm really digging this monitor. It's expensive, though, from what I have seen. Like I said, they did send this to me for purpose of review. It's a $300 monitor. 4K monitor, gaming monitor is what they're listing it as. And I don't think I've seen too many of these monitors that sport, you know, 3K resolution or 4 3K, 4K resolutions and are very cheap. So this is going to be for a very specific, you know, use for people. And if you have a use for it, I can definitely recommend it. I'm just not 100% on that, that HDR part of it. So maybe some of this could just be user error on my part, but I really don't think so. Or could just be, I'm not understanding something. Maybe it's fake HDR, some kind of gamma boost. Like I said, not a hundred percent, but with this thing being ultra slim, it's only six millimeters deep thickness, whatever you want to call it with that bracket to adjust the stand. I think it's awesome. Just the way everything connects in and stands up. It's a cool little device. I'm going to be using this quite often. I like the smaller size monitors as they're just a little bit more portable for me. So, hey, guys, if you're interested, link will be in the description. Really do appreciate y'all. And with that said, I will catch you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.